Man, get your bald-headed ass out the way. Okay, so let's get into the video, man. I was officially right about NBA 2K23. Let's get into the video. So not too long ago, I dropped a video saying that NBA 2K23 reminded me of 2K18. That video did extremely well. And I want to first off, thank everybody that checked out that video. If you haven't, you definitely should. So there will be some type of context to what I'm about to say in this video. As I've said before, I am not one of those content creators that's going to bring up problems with the game and not try to bring solutions. And so today I'm going to talk about what I said in that video, how it's already starting to pass and basically what i'm saying to be true and how we can fix some of these issues now if you don't believe me that nba 2k23 is dying not because it's not a great game but because of the way that this game is formatted right now towards content let's take a look over at twitch right now and show exactly where nba 2k23 is ranked right now in in the catalog on the page you'll be surprised and actually well i'm not surprised so as you can see, we're on Twitch right now and just chatting Minecraft, Grand Theft Auto, Call of Duty, Overwatch, League of Legends, Valorant, pretty much always going to be at the top. And then FIFA and games like that are going to, you know, occasionally hit the top five or not. But let's see where NBA 2K has fallen with only being a, maybe a week or so into season two. Now, as you can see, we're going lower and lower and lower and games that pretty much have an extremely niche uh, following are still games that are higher than NBA 2K right now. Gundam Evolutions, God of War, the first one has more views than NBA 2K right now. The Plague Tale has more views, A Dead Knight. And then as you can see, all the way down here with 3.9K viewers is NBA 2K with Cold of Man view having about 389 views right now. Now, again, Right now, the streaming for tw uh, on Twitch for NBA 2K is top heavy. So once you get past like the first couple of pages, it drops off pretty significantly from 56 to 35, from 35 to 26, from 26 to 23, and so on and so forth with a lot of different people holding, you know, over about 10 views. And what I said in my last video is that NBA 2K23 is gonna be a great year for content creators or smaller content creators to blow up because once the cycles of these other games start to go, there's nobody going to be here to play these games. Nobody's going to be here to stream these games. And one of these reasons is going to be is because it's Battle Pass Level 40 system. So I know what you're asking me. VZ, why does it matter? What is it about the Battle Pass that's hurting the game? And I'm going to tell you guys what's hurting the game. It's the fact that the Battle Pass isn't hard to complete. And then once you complete it, there's no incentive to come back to the game. I, I am already a 35 or well, about to be a 36 with 32 days left in this season. I will hit 40 probably within the next three to four days. So at that point, I am now going to be three, three weeks plus of having absolutely nothing to do, especially if I don't give a damn about Legend. Now, I'm going to go for Legend, so which means I'll still be on the game occasionally. But now with Call of Duty coming out now, and it probably, what, we'll get Warzone with, within the next week and a half, two weeks. I now have 28 days, 28 plus days of having another game that I can play, make content on if I choose to, which I won't. But if I choose to, I can play Call of Duty Warzone and then have stocked up saved NBA 2K footage and keep uploading that footage as if I'm still playing the game until I decide I want to come back when the next season starts. But I will then at no point have no obligation to stream the game. And see, this is what I was telling people in my last video. You now as a small content creator, if you're somebody that cares about going for legend, if you're somebody that cares about showcasing the whole battle pass grind, you now have a very free lane to continue to grind, stream and upload without any competition. Because regardless of the fact, if you're somebody that likes Warzone or not, or somebody that plays Overwatch or not, there are going to be people that only watch and only play NBA 2K. This is going to be a whole niche for people. I Again, I don't bring up problems 
without solutions and i'm trying to tell nba 2k if you want viewer retention if you want people to continue to stream and play the game you cannot you cannot have such a very short-sighted system of rewarding players because at the end of the day just like with legend if, if it takes about four to five months to hit legend there's going to be somebody that hits it in three three or four months maybe somebody might even hit it in two months if it takes about 10 days to complete the battle pass somebody is going to do it in five you have to have a system that is has a long that has longevity to it and gives people an incentive to continue to log into this game and right now nba 2k 23 is going to die because of lack of content once i hit level 40 there is no reason for me to get back on this game if i don't give a damn about legend and again most of the people who are playing nba 2k 23 a good 95 percent of people don't give a damn nor will they hit legend and at this point they're just happy to hit level 20 on the battle pass to get whatever it is that reward might be or some people just want to grind in just enough to get the 30 to get the skeleton and really don't care if they get the 40 reward this is just my opinion i really want to know what you guys think man but nba 2k you're showing me that i'm right right now and i want to be wrong because nba 2k 23 is a great game up the content